going on guys? My name is David and welcome back to BuzzFeed test number four. On last week's video, Rio suggested that I do the stuffed monkey bread, but she also mentioned how she was going to try that recipe anyway. And that brought up a good point. Even if I don't like something, it does not mean you shouldn't try it. We could have messed it up and we could have different taste buds. So please, if you want to, try it either way. But let's get right into the ingredients for this week's test. Alright guys, to make the monkey bread, you're going to need biscuits, chocolate chips, sugar, cinnamon, brown sugar, cream cheese, and butter. So let's start with these biscuits. First thing you gotta do is unwrap them and pop them without giving yourself a heart attack. Roll those bad boys out of there and cut each one in half. Then you wanna go through and flatten them all out. Keep in mind these are butter flavored biscuits. It's not like corn or something else that you're seeing in them. Then you wanna take your cream cheese and cut the whole thing into cubes. Keep in mind that I cut mine even smaller than BuzzFeed did and it still turned out to be a little bit too much. So if I were you guys or if I were to do this again, cut them a little bit smaller than this. So the process for these are going to be to throw a piece of cream cheese on it, then a couple chocolate chips, make all the edges meet on top, press them together and then roll it into a ball. And this was the tedious part. You had to do that for each biscuit and even though I did get in a rhythm, it took me a solid 10 minutes. So when I finally got all those done, I was so freaking pumped, I rolled them all out in a pile, and it was at this point I realized that there's no way this was going to be enough to fill up that pan. So I grabbed another container and popped that, and repeated that entire process. Now this time around, I got it done a little bit quicker. I got in that rhythm of patting it out, put the cream cheese, chocolate chips, roll it up, and on to the next one. And we are finally at this point. Now, grab yourself a bowl, Sing a little Troy Sivan if you're as stressed out as I was. Trying hard not to fall on the way home. <laughs> and then you're gonna combine a half cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and mix that up thoroughly. And that looks about perfect. Next, you're gonna grab any bunt pan that you have and spray that with cooking spray. And then one at a time, roll each ball into the cinnamon sugar and throw it in the pan. Once again, this is incredibly tedious, and I wish you all luck if you want to try this yourself. Also keep in mind that these things are going to rise like crazy, so it does not have to be to the top of the pan. Final thing we have to make is the glaze, so grab another bowl and throw in a half cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of butter, now we're going to microwave that for about 45 seconds, and you get this incredibly glossy Elmer's glue-like substance. Nonetheless, then drizzle that all over the top, try to cover the entire thing even though it doesn't have to be perfect, and throw that into the oven on 350 degrees for a half hour. Let this rise like a witch's cauldron and you're done. Take that out without burning yourself, throw a plate on the top and flip it over. Now very carefully without breaking the whole thing, pull that off of there and wow, this thing looks freaking amazing. Look at that, this is some Food Network type shit right here. This thing looks like the best thing ever. I don't want to touch it, it looks so perfect. That is what a piece looks like. This would be the biggest letdown of my lifetime if it doesn't taste good. Dude, this is like scary good. Guys, I've made monkey bread before, but never like this one. Not only the best BuzzFeed thing I've cooked, but like the best thing I've cooked in the past, I don't even know when, years. How long did this take me to make? Spent a half hour in the oven and a half hour prep time. So timing it gets like an eight and a half because it's very tedious, but it is so worth it. Overall, 10. I recommend this so highly. If you have a free night and have some friends or some family coming over, make this damn thing. Let me put this down before I drop it. If you like the video guys, please give me that big thumbs up. As always, it means a ton. My Instagram and Twitter are right down in the description if you want to go follow me on those. I hope you have an absolutely awesome rest of your weekend, and I'll see you back here in three days on Sunday. Peace!